Planet Earth teems with life and includes thousands of species of vertebrate animals, mammals, reptiles, fish, and birds, invertebrates, insects, crustaceans, and protozoans, trees, flowers, grasses, and grains, and a bewildering array of bacteria and algae, plus single-celled organisms, some inhabiting scalding deep-sea thermal vents. And yet, this rich profusion of flora and fauna seems paltry compared to the ecosystems of the deep past. By most reckonings, since the beginning of life on Earth, a whopping 99.9% .9 of all species have gone extinct. Over the millennia, animals have gone extinct on Earth for many different reasons. Sometimes, it's because of a dramatic shift in the climate. Other times, it was because of human intervention. Advances in science, specifically biotechnology, could enable scientists to bring some of these animals back from extinction, and there are a few already on the list. Generally, it helps if there is a species still alive today that is genetically similar to the extinct animal, like elephants for woolly mammoths or cows for aurochs. There are also certain criteria to consider, as bringing an animal back from the grave has a lot of biological and ecological implications. Scientists must be able to show that the species is desirable, such as having an important ecological function or being beloved by humans. And they also must consider practical matters, such as whether we have access to tissue that could give us good quality DNA samples. Here are some of them from the list of candidate species for de-extinction from the Long Now Foundation, which was founded by biologist and writer Stuart Brand, plus some others added from our own research. Woolly Rhinoceros The woolly rhinoceros is an extinct species of rhinoceros that was common throughout Europe and northern Asia during the Pleistocene epoch and survived until the end of the last glacial period. The woolly rhinoceros was a member of the Pleistocene megafauna. The woolly rhinoceros was similar in appearance to modern rhinos, with some difference in physique and body structure. It was covered with thick and long hair, which allowed it to survive in the cold mammoth steppe with an extremely harsh climate. It also had a massive hump reaching from its shoulder. Like all rhinoceroses, it was an exclusively herbivorous animal that fed mainly on herbaceous plants that grew in abundance in the mammoth steppe. Mummified carcasses preserved in permafrost and many bone remains of woolly rhinoceros have been found. Images of woolly rhinoceroses are found among cave paintings in Europe and Asia. Human hunting is often blamed for their extinction, so scientists want to reintroduce them to make up for it. The Elephant Bird Elephant birds are members of the extinct ratite family Apiorinthidae, made up of large to enormous flightless birds that once lived on the island of Madagascar. They became extinct, perhaps around 1000 to 1200 CE, probably as a result of human activity. Elephant birds comprise the genera Molarornis, Varambe, and Apiornis. While they were in close geographical proximity to the ostrich, their closest living relatives are kiwi, suggesting that ratites did not diversify by vicariance during the breakup of Gondwana, but instead evolved from ancestors that dispersed more recently by flying. In September 2012, scientists determined that Varambe Titan reached weights of 730 kilograms and stood 3 meters tall, making it the world's largest bird, slightly larger than the much older Dormornis stertoni. It is widely believed that they went extinct as a result of human activity, so we want to make up for that too. The Quagga The Quagga was a plain zebra that lived in South Africa until becoming extinct in the late 19th century. It was long thought to be a distinct species, but early genetic studies have supported it being a subspecies of plain zebra. A more recent study suggested that it was merely the southernmost cline or ecotype of the species. After the Dutch settlement of South Africa began, the quagga was heavily hunted as it competed with domesticated animals for forage. Some were taken to zoos in Europe, but breeding programs were unsuccessful. The last wild population lived in the Orange Free State, and the quagga was extinct in the wild by 1878. The last captive specimen died in Amsterdam on the 12th of August 1883. Only one quagga was ever photographed alive, and only 23 skins are preserved today. In 1984, the quagga was the first extinct animal to have its DNA analyzed, and the quagga project is trying to recreate the phenotype of hair coat pattern and related characteristics by selectively breeding Burchell zebras. Aurochs The aurochs is an extinct species of large wild cattle that inhabited Europe, Asia, and North Africa. It is the ancestor of domestic animals. It has also been suggested as an ancestor genetically to the modern European bison, which have been crossbred with steppe bison. The species survived in Europe until 1627, when the last recorded aurochs died in the Jaktorau Forest, Poland. Scientists want to bring them back through selective breeding of cattle species that carry some aurochs DNA. To this end, European teams have been selectively breeding cattle since 2009. Caspian Tigers 
The Caspian tiger was a Panthera tigris tigris population, which lived from eastern Turkey, Mesopotamia, the Caucasus, around the Caspian Sea, through Central Asia to northern Afghanistan, and Xinjiang in western China. It inhabited sparse forests and riverine corridors in this region until the 1970s. This population was assessed as extinct in 2003. The scientists involved in this study want to bring back the tiger by using the genetically similar Siberian tiger species. Woolly Mammoth The woolly mammoth coexisted with early humans, who used its bones and tusks for making art, tools, and dwellings, and the species was also hunted for food. These large, elephant-like creatures were last found on Wrangell Island before their extinction some 4,000 years ago. Luckily, some specimens have been preserved and frozen so that scientists can access their DNA for the prospect of de-extinction. The Dodo the dodo is perhaps the most famous extinct animal. It evolved without any natural predators, but the humans that arrived on their home island, Mauritius, took advantage of this and killed them all for food. In 2007, scientists found the best preserved dodo skeleton ever, which may hold valuable DNA samples. The moa The moa was a giant flightless bird from New Zealand that reached 12 feet tall and weighed more than 500 pounds. They died out because of overhunting by the Maori by 1400, and their closest relatives have found to be the flighted South American tinamous, which could hold some of their genes. Irish Elk Irish Elks were one of the largest deer ever to walk the earth. The Irish Elk, also called the Giant Deer or Irish Deer, is an extinct species of deer in the genus Megaloceros and is one of the largest deer that ever lived. Its range extended across Eurasia during the Pleistocene, from Ireland to Siberia to China. The most recent remains of the species have been carbon dated to about 7,700 years ago in Siberia. Red deer or fallow deer might have some similar genes. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.